Greetings, low-born serfs of Westeros. It is I, your prince among princes, Arion Targaryen, also known as the Bright Flame. And I am a true scion of the House of the Dragon. Perhaps some might say I carry the dragon itself within me, for such is the fire of which I burn. And yes, I burn brightly, so brightly that sometimes you mere mortals are burned by mere proximity to me. Because that is what it means to be among the great bloods of the great bloods of old Valyria. Though my ancestors abandoned the free goal before its fall and came to Dragonstone to set up our new realm, which we conquered. For such is the foresight of the dragon that even the future itself is within our grasp. And there were dreams, dreams, dreams of dragons and fire. And such dreams are what Aegon used to forge this seven separate kingdoms into one, which he rules and which my family has ruled for well over a century. But there are some who do not recognize my greatness, who have been thorns in my side. One was my little fresh of her brother, who fortune somehow favored with the name Aegon, though he is no true dragon. He's merely an ungrateful wretch who I tried to turn into a man as when he grew up. But as a child, he was ever whining and soft-minded. <laughs> so my efforts were to not. And my older brothers were no help in the matter, for they ever let him continue to be a mere wastrel. And then, as things would have it, because such things always come to pass, he took up with a low-born page knight, a truly a nobody, and a whole seven kingdoms full of nobodies. A brought him into his service and was even posing as his squire at the time. And there was this tournament that we were all at. And of course, I was the one favorite to win and make my father Maycar proud. <laughs> but I happened upon a play with a girl mocking the house of the dragon. And the house of the dragon will not be mocked. So I was T 